Hello Internet, this is Dalek Sex and you are watching Sex Plays Appointment with Fear. Um, a long time ago when Tin Man Games was starting to bring out the fighting fantasy books. I told uh, Neil from Tin Man on Twitter that if he could bring Appointment with Fear out, then I would buy it. I said it as a joke because um, Appointment with Fear is one of the... It's one of the ones that's not terribly well regarded. It's a player killer for a start. I am a boy. And it's not in the, um... It's not in the... What was the kingdom called? With Black Sand and Salamonis and, uh... And all the... And Zengis and all the other places in. Okay, I have super strength. We're going to punch some faces. Choose your look. You can only go with randomly generated ones or, or predefined ones, which is a bit of an ass, but uh, it it adds a certain element of fun to it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I never um I never ex I never imagined that he looks a bit like Thor, so we'll go with him. A bit like Thor Magneto. That looks... I think that looks the most Magneto. Outstanding Pants is a good name, but we'll keep going. The Obvious Deer, Sergeant Sparrow, Jumbo Dungeon. Oh, I'm going to have to keep that name. Unconventional Boxer isn't bad, but we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Slappy NPC, punchy clown face. Oh, I'm I'm really really tempted with that, but we'll we'll get. Oh yeah, the Burninator. There's a there's a strong bad reference. Well done, guys. Uh, Commandant Puncher. I think we have our name. You sit at the kitchen table and glance out over the window to see the sun rising in the Titan City skyline. You smile. Yes, because we're going to punch some faces. Another glorious morning in the best city in the world, Titan City. The city is safe because you have devoted your life to fighting crime and keeping thugs and villains off the street by punching their fucking faces. You are Commandant Puncher. Upholder of justice, and you have taken an earth, to, uh, an earth, an oath, to serve in the fight against crime in Titan City. Time for breakfast. You float over to the cupboards and grab some cereal. Fear meeting preparations begin in Titan City today. All high-level agents are to attend. Our scheme for world domination cannot fear. Utoshki out. It's a bit racist, isn't it? Vladimir Utoshki. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot this was set in the 80s. The Titanium Cyborg. Fear's leader. Okay, you have three days to stop the meeting with Fear. Oh, God, I like that. We haven't got any time to finish the coffee, not when faces need to be punched. Daddy Rich, an eccentric millionaire, has just avoided a, a, a murder charge thanks to lawyers. Ooh, those lawyers! He gets his kicks by murdering innocent victims and revels in their fear. Sounds like today is going to be a busy day in Titan City today! <laughs> 
It's uh, it, it's it's an obvious joke, but no one can deny that the old jokes are old. The Scarlet Prankster has found a new home. Mind your manners, you beast! The newspaper vendor shouts something about a robbery. It's hard to hear him. Okay. Why are the car horns honking furiously? A yellow and black Cougar GS screeches around the corner. I'm not convinced that that's a real car. It leaps ahead at Clark Street traffic before swimming into Audubon Park. Okay. Look at all that blood! Who would do such a thing? The police are clearly becoming exasperated. Change into costume. As Commandant Puncher, you step towards the scene. A police officer spots you and helps you through the crowd. Which parts of you are recognised? What's going on here? On the ground in the centre of the crowd is the body of a man. A man of some means by the looks of his expensive clothing. What a gaudy, gold trim briefless briefcase. Oh well, my character's obviously a bit of a judgmental cunt. Didn't think that somebody dressed as Butters' superhero altern above um, out character from South Park had the right to judge anyone's gold trim briefcase, personally. Okay, let's have a look at the briefcase. Wayne Bruce, President of Euro American Security. Divorce proceedings from his lawyer. Possible motive. You try to break the news to Wayne Bruce's wife gently. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bruce, but I have come bearing some bad news. Do go on, please. I'm afraid he's dead. To your astonishment, she takes it unemotionally. Wait, is all the dialogue in capitals? Euro-American security. The staff are shocked to hear of the president's murder. A secretary, an attractive woman with blonde, dark eyes, excuses you to the company's secretary in teen years. This is Mr. Clinton, Mr. Vincent, Miss Britton, and Miss Cosmina. Oh! Miss Cosmina sounds suspicious. You decide to give up on the investigation. Your leads all seem to have dead be dead ends. Perhaps the police will have better luck. Yeah, I remember how why this game is such a player killer now. There's absolute oh Peter Laboratories or Parker Airport. Very good. Yeah, I'm um, starting to remember why I stopped playing this game now when I was a child. Four Alsatians have escaped from their cages. Where can I find the escaped dogs and punch their faces? The dogs will be no match for Commandant Puncher. Because there is absolutely no way whatsoever to tell what the right choice is. It's completely arbitrary. Attempt to rush in. Easy there! Nice doggies!
One of the radiation dogs leaps at you. I don't want to test my skill, I want to test my strength. Bad dog! Super Smash of Virtue. One dog down. Two dogs down. I got a card. I hope you've learned isotopes and alsatians don't mix. The crowd cheers as you walk down the steps of the building. Okay, it seems that the candy shop has been robbed. The proprietor, Mr. Calvin Farquharson, is standing behind the counter in a state of shock. This has got to be a supervillain crime. Only people like the Joker or the Riddler pull shit like this. I think I remember this bit. Yeah, it's just a kid behind the boxes. So, so far, we've, um... The cowardly shopkeeper has wasted your time. Well, I'm going to... What a dreadful coward. And, you see, this is a complete time waster of a plot arc, but at the end, he gives you a... He gives you a valuable clue. Whereas he has spent Christ knows how long investigating with proper detective work, whereupon the game arbitrarily drops it on your head. That you've wasted your time and perhaps the police can do better. Right, let's see how this all... I'm, c I'm going to continue playing for now, simply because I haven't been able to punch any faces yet. We've had a child and four dogs. A tabby cat is trying to get in through the gates. You pick up the hungry creature and stroke it. As you wait, your eye catches a familiar looking figure turning the corner. It's Chainsaw Bronski! Screw him. We're going to concentrate on the cat. Oh no. Could the cat be turning into some sort of cat? Oh no, it's Cheetara. 
The Tiger Cat. You will not send me to a cat shelter, Commandant Puncher. You just took five damage. Looks like I've let the cat out of the bag. I appear to have broken their right kneecap. Let's go for that kneecap then. So yeah, um, there's Appointment with Fear. Um, I love, I really, really love what uh, Tin Man Games have done with it. It's it's a fine representation. It zips along. Um, could probably speed play it in about 15, 20 minutes. But it's, you know, if you like the book, then this is just superb. Uh, I maintain that Appointment with Fear is a terrible, terrible game. But, um, to be honest, I knew that before I bought it, and I bought it anyway. <laughs>